Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn about the multi select drop down. Now, if you see, there's a drop down, and I'm going to select some of the skills. Select the skills. Let's say I, I know Java, I know Python, I know HTML, I know SQL, I know cloud computing. Okay, so I'm going to select some of the areas. Now, what is happening the moment I select this? It tells me the total number of skills selected. So, there are five skills I have selected. Let's say I'm going to remove it. Let's Java, I'm going to remove. Now it is saying four. And the same thing is getting updated in a below text box. Now, how this is achieved? What is the technique behind it? How did I get the count dynamically after selecting? How am I getting this inside a text box? These are the some of the techniques you are going to learn in this video. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Now I am on the app studio. Let me first remove everything. We'll start from the scratch. We'll learn everything one by one. The very first thing, let me drag and drop a list uh, multi-select drop down. Okay. So once I have it, if you click on preview, this is how it appears. If you click on this, there is nothing. So how do I get the values inside it? There are multiple ways to get the values. I am going to use a entity for this let me show you the entity when anybody says entity is a table table created in the data service now here there's a table and there's a column called skill names and here are the different things now if you have a question how do i create this table in a data service just watch the previous video around the drop down where i have shown you how to how you can do this okay so here i have got all the skills like software testing cloud computing and all of this now I want all of this to appear inside this specific multi-select drop-down. Now for that all I have to do click equals to and select the entity that I have already added to my UiPath App Studio. Okay, this is the entity. I am going to drag and drop the name of the entity which is entity means table. Okay, skill capture tool. So this has been added. Now inside that there are multiple columns. Out of all these columns I want the skill name column to be the one which should show the values of it in the drop down. Now, if I click on preview, now on the screen, if I click here, I'll be able to see all those things that is there in the entity. And it is quite easy if I update the entity, you know, it can dynamically populate over here. That is a good part about it. It's not static, you know, in the entity, you can make changes and this can reflect just by refreshing the page. So here, now, if let's say I'm going to select certain things. I want if I'm selecting two skills, it should on the top, it should say two skills have been selected or total number of skills selected is equal to two. It should show somewhere here. So how to achieve that one? Okay, this is actually easy. I'm going to show you how you can do it. Click on this plus sign. Drag and drop or label. Okay, label. Where is it? Okay, I'm going to drag and drop a small label. Now in the label, I'm not going to type manually. I want it to show something. Okay. So here what I will do, I'll use a equals to symbol, equals to symbol, and I am going to use a function called count. Count means I want to count how many things have been selected. So first let me drag and or double click on this count. So the count has come. Now the count function has to be written inside parenthesis, open and close parenthesis. And inside that I have to put what? whatever is, is user is selecting those values should come here a variable which will hold it so what is the variable uh, in during the runtime when the user is selecting some of the values inside the drop down there is a variable which will hold the values so what is that in your page under the page right right look for this multi select drop down where you have so this is the one now it says multi select drop down dot selected value so this is the one you should use. So all you have to do simply drag and drop inside the parenthesis. Getting it? By doing this, what would happen? The number of things that is being selected will be shown. The count will be shown. Let me hit on preview and show you. Okay, so are you ready to see? For example, I'm going to select Java SQL. I'm going to click outside and you can see the number two has appeared. Great, right? It is appearing. All right, now let's do a bit of modification to it. Let's say I want to write a text, total number of selected skills I want to write. So how do you write that? It's quite simple. All you do, click some else, you know, somewhere inside this 
and use the keyboard uh, arrows to come to the left and here I am going to put a double quote and write total uh, number of uh, skills selected and use a double quote and then use a ampersand symbol just to combine getting it let me show you how it is appearing if I put it inside a notepad now this is how the expression would appear okay double quote written all all the sentence that you want to write you can write it this way whatever you want to do then there's an ampersand symbol and then it says count and so and so thing okay so this is how the expression will be written and you got to know how to really do it quite easily okay so here let me put a small change i'll put a in the text i'll put a this one and give it small space okay now let's see the magic now what happened it is saying total number of skills selected zero let me select something let's say i'm going to select html now it is saying one let me select one more it is saying two let me select one more it is saying three what if i remove it let's say i'm going to remove this just click once again it will remove it so the dynamic value is coming now now the next thing let's say the user has selected certain things how do i carry those value to elsewhere let's say i want to show it in a text box elsewhere or how, how do i carry those value that is the uh, theme now for that uh, to show demonstrate let me use a text box text area okay i'm using a text area and i'm going to place it just below that and here i am going to change the label and going to say selected skills by the user selected skills by the user now this one can be easily binded okay all i have to do i have to go to the value binding field and i will say equals to or just click on this and then for the page i have this right uh, multi selected drop down selected value so if i put this over here and if i run a preview now on the page I'm going to select let's say Java and I'm going to select HTML I'm going to say software testing now if you see all these three things uh, Java HTML and software testing has come and the count has come so now you have no uh, you have seen how this simple thing can be achieved by knowing the simple simple techniques uh, in the UiPath app studio so thank you guys for watching do not forget to hit on like and share and subscribe to the channel